Yeah. Romaine lettuce. Mmm. Welcome to the Ten Acre Woods. It is minus 25 out. Uh, it was minus 31 early this morning, uh, so pretty cold. I'm just heading out to the animals to give them a little uh, treat. It's a, a Christmas treat. It's just after Christmas. I hope your Christmas uh, went well and your holidays are uh, are doing great. Something that we um, we saw at uh, Terrasa Online. It was one of the stores in our area was uh, getting rid of Christmas trees. They were giving them away for free. I guess the season season's over. And uh, so this is what we have here. We have 10 Christmas trees, 10 pine trees. Now, we have in the past fed our animals uh, pine trees last year. We didn't get many in, we got a couple in. Uh, and we were doing a little bit of research online about how safe it is. And there's uh, uh, contradictory information on there. Of course, the internet, you've got all kinds of information. Uh, there was some information about um, uh, giving it to does that are pregnant could cause abortions or miscarriages. So we're gonna keep that in mind. Uh, we've been reading some toxicity reports on uh, on these trees, on pine trees. So we're not gonna give them all at once. Uh, we'll maybe give them one maybe one every couple of weeks uh, into the spring because apparently it is good as a, um, as a dewormer uh, because of the toxicity levels in there. Uh, my mouth is, uh, is getting cold so I'm starting to slur. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna head, uh, head inside and uh, somewhere where it's a little bit warmer. Um, so anyway, in, um, just in conclusion to that, we are going to uh, give them a little bit, uh, but we don't wanna overdo it. We've never had issues with um, with our goats and uh, eating the pine needles. So, but we will, uh, you know, heed the warning and um, not give them a bunch all at once. So I'm inside the, what we like to call the nursery, uh, which if you've been watching these videos in the past, we have the, uh, the small areas over here for our uh, chicks and ducklings when they hatch out. Uh, and then we put cages out over in this area from time to time. Uh, this is currently not heated. Uh, we have been using the wood stove in the past, um, but um, we're not using it this year because there's just really no need. Uh, the chinchillas that we uh, had in here are in the basement and uh, we've kind of moved everything in. So um, anything that can't freeze. These bags here, this is where we get our barley and lentils, these larger bags. Uh, so we we got these in uh, a few days ago, and we're going to be putting those into their respective uh, barrels out in the feed area. Uh, now, something that has uh, has happened in the last couple of weeks, we went out to a uh, retirement, an old folks' retirement uh, in the city. It's a complex, and uh, so we're going out monthly and taking some animals out and showing, uh, showing the elderly these animals, which they really love. Uh, one thing we hear quite often is, oh, I remember when, you know, my parents had chickens and I raised them up and, uh, and they're really nice stories and it's wonderful to see the smiles on their faces. Uh, I got to go out in the last outing uh, since it was close to uh, the new year. It was a little slow at work and uh, I told Tara, since Tiana was in school, I told Tara that I, uh, I would go out with her and we took uh, Joey or Josephine and Isabel, the two uh, little pygmy goats that we had come in about a week ago. Uh, well, about a week prior to, so about two weeks ago now. Uh, and last Friday they headed off to Ontario to their new home and they're doing fabulous. Uh, so I've been checking out some of their posts on the Facebook page uh, over there at the Spry Farm in, uh, in Ontario. Uh, Fort Francis, Ontario. Uh, so the first outing we did was, uh, would have been September, I think early September, we took, uh, well, Tara and Tiana took ducklings, uh, chicks, uh, uh, young chickens, and uh, what else was there? There was a chinchilla, uh, I think both chinchillas, uh, young chinchillas that we have, took there, and uh, a little rabbit. 
So they really enjoyed that, but um, the month after that was uh, November, and that's when Fernando the turkey headed over there. And uh, it was just, we always get the same kind of reactions with Fernando. It's, it's quite comical because people are, you know, you don't used to, you're not used to seeing a turkey, let alone petting a turkey. Uh, sometimes we see some wild ones uh, out, out here, but uh, people, the only time they see turkeys is on their dinner plate uh, around this time of year, the holiday season. Ooh, it's warm in here. All right, so what I have is uh, I got some leftovers from, uh, you know, some squash and some lettuce and stuff that uh, over the holidays. And then a bag of peas here um, that some of our regulars had dropped off. And uh, we threw those in the fridge and we're going to give them as treats as well. Now the temperature in here is about four degrees, so I can probably turn on the fan uh, and get rid of, there's ice build up on the door uh, and I can see some humidity that's uh, forming on the door. So with all that cold weather, this fan, we've got a fan up here blowing down on the door and that is to um, reduce the amount of ice buildup, just keeping that airflow moving across the door. Uh, so we found the first year without that fan, this door froze up continuously and you couldn't get through. Uh, so this is a great idea is just to have a fan running all the time that's on the door. All right, so I will uh, take the peas and we'll start off with peas and we'll give it to the ones inside here, the young ones, and then we'll head outside and uh, give them some peas and uh, some of these leftovers. Okay. Come here, Lucy. Hi, Lucy. Here, look, what's this? Let's take these gloves off. Oh, it's so warm in here, I don't need them. What is this? Oh, what is that? Mmm. Oh, snow peas. Good, eh? Oh, they just love these things. But, of course, uh, you don't want to give them too much. Uh, if you had, um, for example, our barrels of grain that's just around the corner there. So we have those in barrels and not just the bags lying around. Because if any of the goats, uh, sheep, or any of the... Um, the animals with multi-chambered stomachs, if they eat those, and they'll just keep eating them and eating them and eating them. And afterwards what'll happen is the, uh, the gases in their stomach will expand, they'll suffer bloat, and then what, that ha what happens there is they can't regurgitate their food, and here, and uh, they, they basically die. So what ha has to happen is they have to be taken in uh, and they have to have a hole actually cut in their stomach to release the excess gas. Uh, so it can, be, it can be fatal in many circumstances. So we want to make sure that uh, the feed is isolated and these guys can't get to it, right? All right, a couple more. And then we'll go give the other kids some. Yes. Merry Christmas. Yes. And what about you, Fernando? You probably don't want... What is this? Look. Fernando. What is this, Fernando? Yeah, Fernando doesn't want any. <laughs> but you, okay, one more. <laughs> All right, let's go give some to the other ones. Hi, girls. Get down. Get down. Yeah, very humid in here. Uh, I'm gonna turn on the exhaust fan. It's over here. There we go, we'll turn that on. And it gets so humid in here uh, because of all the breathing of all the animals. Oh, here, okay. Okay, here, let's just throw them out here like this. Here, there you go. Are you, are you girls picky? <laughs> you don't even want any? These two do, that's for sure. Here, look. 
You don't want it? Well, we got uh, fussy eaters. What? I don't, that's it, that's all I have. Well, maybe. Oh, there we go, yeah. Okay, he just wanted the whole bag. <laughs> Didn't you? <laughs> Carly and Coco, come here. Come over here, Coco. Over on this side. Here, do you want some? Right in the back, no? Yeah, you want some, don't you? Um, okay, so with the temperature and humidity in here, these animals, they actually heat the entire barn. Uh, so there's no need for us to uh, run any heaters in here at all. Uh, so the whole building's insulated well enough that it retains all that heat, but it also retains the moisture. So we want to drop that moisture down uh, so to do that, we want to exhaust air, but we don't want to exhaust it down to the point where our waters are going to freeze uh, just in ease of, uh, of feeding. So we want to keep that here. No, Carly doesn't want any. She wants it right out of the bag. We want to keep it down to the level that um, about one degree Celsius. So right above the freezing point, just so that there's no freezing of the water. Uh, but we're getting rid of as much moisture from the air as possible. So it can be a challenge from time to time, and it's taken us a couple years to kind of tweak it around. And I uh, set up a thermostat, uh, an air conditioning thermostat to the fan system. So when it hits a certain temperature, being around one degree, one, two degrees, you're pushing me forward, you girls are getting big, uh, then, um, then it kicks on and exhausts the uh, exhaust the air. All right, time to go outside. Maybe I'll throw some of these in for the chickens. Chickens can peck away at them. They'll like that too. And maybe the guineas as well. I'll throw some into the guineas since they're yelling at me here. All right, how about the ducks? Do the ducks want some? What do you guys think of these? Not really, eh? Oh! <laughs> uh, no, they are eating them. Oh, greens for everybody. All right. Not a whole lot, though. They've still got grains sitting in their, uh, in their grain dish. You want that? There you go. And then she just throws it on the ground. Okay. What about the chickens? All right. Chickens! Greens, these guys should should really love it. There you go. Throw some over further. Over further. There we go. Tails a wagon. Alright, pigeons and peafowl. No. <laughs> I didn't think so. They're more. Oh, oh. we have. Oh, uh, oh no. Now we have a pea hen. Oh, and some poop. Well, oh, that was a close one. Okay, so she seems to be eating the grains. All right. Well, there we go. Okay. Next. Rabbits. Oh, what is that? What is that? Some peas. Mmm. No, oh, they like those. I thought they would. And of course, poor spot, right? Here. Look. Oh, there you go. Spot is, uh, he's been a naughty little boy, haven't you? You don't, what, you don't want these? You nibbled a little bit on it. Oh, you're just going to rub yourself on it. Yeah, he's doing a dominance trick where, oh, okay, you're going to give me something, I'll rub on it first because uh, it's mine. <laughs> 
<laughs> you are very dominant, aren't you? So he's our alpha, and he's in here just because he uh, he starts beating up the new recruits as they come in. So, um, so these guys are doing good, and Spot is a silly little boy. Okay. But what we want to do is we want to set up. We started doing these cages in here, but we took them apart because we didn't think. Um, well, it was for the chickens initially, and then we were going to separate all of our chickens and uh, have pure breeds, but we decided not to go with that. But I think what we might do is transform this into a, uh, a rabbit pen that runs around the area, and we can put a couple in together, uh, or we can separate little boys like this, which he's very friendly, but he is, uh, he's just a little too, uh, too much of an alpha, aren't you, bud? All right. I think that's it for inside. So we will go outside and see the big ones. Okay, so the door and going outside, I just wanted to give you a shot of that. <laughs> you can see uh, there is quite a bit of ice that's pretty thick on there. So you can see the, uh, the water pooling at the bottom and this fan is blowing directly onto this door to keep it uh, to keep it somewhat you can actually see the moisture on there so it's a little too high humidity so I tweak that down a little bit get that temperature a little lower and uh, that is unlocked now yeah so that and you can see the ice build up on the door jam itself and oh who's that out there all right I'll be out in a minute just wait Carl <laughs> all right uh, I will take this here, so these are some greens. Go out and give them some greens and uh, the rest of, oh look at, yeah, this is why we lock the door like that, uh, so that they can't come in. All right, let's go outside, we'll grab this and we'll head out. Back up everybody. All right, I'm gonna start off with uh, How do you open this bag? Oh, here we go. All right, got too much going on. Here. There we go. Here, Barry. You like lettuce, don't you? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Romaine lettuce, hmm. Now, iceberg lettuce doesn't have a whole lot of nutritional value, although, uh, Romaine, romaine lettuce does. Uh, okay, these are some squash. Oh, you gonna take that? Here, who wants a squash? I'll just throw them off to the side. There we go. Barry gonna have some. Okay, and squash seeds. Do you want some of those, Barry? Oh, Barry's spoiled, isn't he? Okay. No, not so much. Okay. I'll put those down here. So this is uh, all the squash. Uh, pumpkin as well. Okay, that's it. There's no more in there, Turbo. Oh, and one of the girl rabbits came out. I'll throw some, throw some over there, over here. So there's not so much fighting going on. There we go. Where are, ooh, where are the pigs? <laughs> the pigs are sleeping. <laughs> I'll have to sneak away and give the pigs some. Uh, put some in here for the pigs. And then I will scatter, let's see here. I'll scatter these all out here. All right, that's it. All gone. Now we'll go in and we'll see the pigs because it's way too cold for them out here. <sighs> Where are they? It's dark in here. Ooh. I'm gonna disturb them. Here. Oh, there you go. Oh, some peas. You guys are just all cozy in there, aren't you? <laughs> there we go. 
Now everybody gets some. Everybody gets some. Yeah, wake up for a little snack. I don't blame you guys for uh, <laughs> for digging into your little burrow. Yeah, because it's cold outside. What we're planning on doing this coming, oh hi Barry, <laughs> this coming summer <clears throat> is we want to, you can see here where we've enclosed this off of the main building here. And um, let's zoom out a bit. We've enclosed this in, we've made this little area in here which is nice and we open up this in the summertime. But what we want to do is we want to actually extend it all the way out to, uh, to this end here so that this whole area right here is all enclosed coming out from this building, coming out this way, out to about here and bringing it across to match here and kind of, you know, around this area here uh, will be the corner. So this will all be an enclosed area and then we'll be able to have sides on it like this. So this area will be all um, hay and no snow. Right guys? That's it, you gotta go find some more. You got some squash there? Oh, you guys have done pretty good. You got all the easy bits. I see one right here. I see a couple, look. Oh, there we go. Billy's got it. All right, guys. Stay warm. Yeah, Barry's like, I'm out of here. I'm going back in. Okay, that is it. Wow. Yeah, it's uh, definitely uh, a couple days to uh, stay inside for the winter. Uh, for the next few days, anyway. Uh, beginning of the new year, it's supposed to warm up to a nice balmy minus 12. That'd be great. <laughs> But uh, it's supposed to stick around minus 30s, uh, low minus 30s with wind chills into the minus 40s over the next few days. So, you know, it's, uh, what do they say, out like, a, out like a lion, in like a lamb, something to that effect. Anyway, uh, that's it for this episode. Uh, so I hope you have had a wonderful Christmas and uh, wish you all the best in the new year. And uh, we'll see you next year. <laughs> Take care. Bye-bye.